and very and it's gonna be so cold we always just hug it doesn't <laughs> matter the temperature we That's do love each other but it is gonna be good hugging weather <laughs> yes yes here's a look outside we've got live radar up right now and it's nice and clear for us as we're looking outside at some of our temperatures we're at 62 degrees in burlington we've got sunny skies but we've also got winds 10 to 20 miles per hour throughout the piedmont so definitely very breezy out there but warm enough that of course we're not talking about wind chill in the piedmont lexington 62 degrees and sunny skies winds 10 to 20 miles per hour here as well. North Wilkesboro is one of those spots where we are seeing a slight drop in temperature because of the wind, believe it or not. It's 55 degrees in North Wilkesboro with sunny skies. 14 mile an hour winds makes it feel like 51, which isn't too bad. But in some spots in the mountains, it's colder. We've got stronger winds. That means we've got some wind chills that feel like they're in the 30s at times. A wind advisory is in effect for the mountains right now. It stays in effect until 6 p.m. We've got winds gusting 30 to 45 miles per hour. It started in the late morning. It lasts through the afternoon. We're concerned again about down trees and limbs and power outages. Similar to our concerns from yesterday, we say secure loose objects, but it probably is more appropriate today to say don't unsecure the loose objects that you hopefully secured yesterday. We've also got this frost advisory in effect for the southern part of our forecast area. And I want to take a moment to explain this. Everybody will be experiencing frost or will be at risk at frost tomorrow morning. They just didn't put it into effect for some of our North Carolina and Virginia border counties as well as some parts of the mountains and foothills because it's kind of old hat for them this time of year. But for a lot of our Piedmont locations, it'll be kind of a shock to the system, especially if you're talking about a plant system. So make sure you cover those plants tonight. Here's a look at our 19 hour forecast for the Piedmont Triad. Temperatures falling down into the 30s overnight. We've got those calm winds. Those those two things combined together is what brings us that frost concern. Starting to see frost on maybe cars as well. By 10 p.m. we're at 46. By 7 a.m. we're at 34 degrees in the foothills. Clear skies, calm winds. As we're looking towards the mountains, we've got temperatures that get into the upper 40s today with those high winds. And right now 40 degrees with the wind up to 23 miles per hour will make it feel like it's in the 30s. Probably make it feel like it's below freezing right now. As we're looking towards tomorrow morning, it will be below freezing 29 degrees at 7 a.m. with calm winds. As we're looking at our hour by hour forecasts, we're watching as we stay dry for the first part of the week next week, but then by Tuesday we start to get some rain in. Tuesday we've got some heavy downpours and impact day because of that. As we head towards Wednesday, some more showers and then Thursday some more storms. So it's a pretty similar week next week as it was this past week. We can kind of copy and paste, just change some of the numbers here and there, but it's the same pattern. As we head into Friday morning, we've got some flurries in the mountains, which is what we saw today as well. And I would expect a cold morning as we head into next weekend. Here's that seven day forecast for you. Other than that, though, temperatures for at least the next seven days stay mild and comfortable. All right, Jacqueline, thank you. And thank you all so much for joining us here on WXI 12 News at Noon. I'm Jackie Paschal. Have a great rest of your Friday and do not be folding.